Hey everyone, I just wanted to do a quick introduction video for those of you that may have ventured onto my Canvas page on the school website. So let me just go ahead and introduce myself. My name is Mr. Hutchinson. This is my fifth year to teach at Germantown High School. And the courses that I will be teaching this year will be Marine and Aquatic Science 1 and 2 and Zoology 1 and 2. I will also be teaching a virtual section of Marine and Aquatic Science 1 this semester. So for those of you that are parents of students that are enrolled in virtual learning, then I will be their instructor for this semester. For those that are doing virtual learning, we will be using Canvas just like my face-to-face -face students will for assignments and tests and whatnot, but I will also be using Microsoft Teams. It's an app that I will be using to record my lessons and to go live with your students. So I just wanted to let you be in the know as far as how things will work for those online courses, just in case you weren't familiar with how that's gonna work. And for those of you that do have students that are doing virtual, every time we meet in Teams and we go live, I will also upload those back in Canvas so that your virtual students, if for some reason they can't attend a live video recording session, then they can just go back and watch the stream on Canvas whenever they want to at their own leisure. Let me go ahead and tell you a little bit about the courses that I teach and what your students can expect to learn in my classes. Marine and Aquatic Science 1 and 2 are basically divided into two different areas of biology. So the first focus is marine biology and then we'll also talk about oceanography concepts as well. As far as oceanography, we'll talk about things like tools and instruments that we use to study marine biology like scuba and remote sensing technology, sonar and things like that. We'll also talk about tides and the moon and how that affects our aquatic ecosystems. We'll talk about freshwater ecosystems like um, bogs, lakes, swamps, and what constitutes those freshwater ecosystems. We'll talk about things like water quality and how that can be impactful for us as humans in our society. We'll also talk about things like um, water zonation and how those are divided up. As far as marine biology, we'll be talking about aquatic animals. Marine science one is more of a focus on invertebrate animals. And we'll also talk about some non-animal non organisms. So things like we'll talk about multicellular producers like kelp and seaweed, that will all be in marine one. Marine science two is more of a focus on vertebrate aquatic animals. So things like fish, amphibians, reptiles, birds, and mammals. For zoology one and two, we will be talking about animals in there, just like in marine and aquatic science, but it's still going to be a unique experience. So for example, if I'm covering reptiles in marine science, I may talk about things like sea turtles and sea snakes and things that live in the water in aquatic ecosystems. In zoology two, when we do reptiles, I'm going to focus on more terrestrial animals, the ones that live on land, like snakes and lizards and the like. That way, even though we may talk about the same groups of animals in class, it will still be a unique experience for your students. So that's pretty much how those courses are going to look. I won't do Zoology 2 and Marine 2 until next semester. All of my courses are Marine 1 and Zoology 1 for this semester. That's all I have for you. If you have any questions, then my email address will be on my teacher page, as well as instructions if you want to go be a parent observer and keep track of your students' progress and see assignments and things posted on Canvas. I have instructions for you to be able to do that. So that's gonna do it for me, but uh, thanks for stopping by.